let's have a look at what's growing so not too much at the minute I've got some calabrese, some cauliflower and some cabbage seedlings, some lettuce, they've all been multi-sown, they're hiding under fleece. Uh, they've been germinated on heat, they're now off heat. These are some lettuce that I've pricked out, they're off heat as well. And these are the onions, so these ones are off heat now they've germinated. These are the white ones, they've germinated before everything else, so I've got Spanish white and Paris white which are good for... Um, uh, like pickling like those little white onions you get and then over on the hotbed peeking through here are yellow beetroot with some very rogue what look like brassica seeds um oh, let's lift this up oh it's so toasty in here um at the back onions germinating more different types so i've got some shallots and some red baron these are my tomatoes. Now I've done them a month early than normal because I've got some things going on that I need to get stuff going early. So we'll see how they do. Um, there's about 30 different types under there. Right, I've taken the cover off because it was just being a pain. Right, so uh, spring onions back here. These will probably come off in the next couple of days off heat. And then I've got some flowers here, borage, scabious. I've got um, some limnanthes, some marigolds, nicotania, and some salvia, um, some thyme there, and what else have I got? Some spinach. Uh, some have for germinated, some haven't. We're just waiting for those. In these pots, boxes here, rather, I've got nothing happening, but these are chilies and aubergines. The heat off here is lovely. So at the moment, the thermostat says it's 24 underneath them. So when, when that fleece goes on, it's really nice and snug. Um, up the top, can't really see anything, but there's broad beans there. Uh, these are all cornflowers. And then I've got a little bunch of sweet peas over in the corner. Right, I'm just gonna put this fleece back on. A bit difficult with one hand. Um, but it really does make a massive difference to a hotbed because obviously all the heat stays in. This is a 30 gram fleece. Um, it's available from a company called Quick Crop, as is the thermostat. They're a great company to deal with. Um, based in the UK and I think they've got a, a base in Ireland as well. But the fleece is really good for outside use. I just use it in here as well. It's um, nice and thick and quite robust. So hiding under here, these are some spring onions that I've got. I mean, they are perking up, but they are a bit of a mess. Um, but they should be fine when the weather gets a little bit warmer. I planted those the other side of Christmas. And then under here, we've got some super looking mazuna. It's so fresh. And even that has grown. Amazing. Um, quite a lot of mazuna there. And then I planted this pak choy not that long ago, actually, but already it's really growing. I mean, that looks super. A bit of damage here. I guess that's a leaf beetle, I think. Um, but considering I planted these, or I sowed these in the middle of winter, they have done really well. They've just sat in modules in the greenhouse. And uh, now I just cover them with fleece. Now I've planted them out and they'll obviously be gone by the time I get my tomatoes going. Um, right, so that's it. That's what's going on right now. So that's everything tucked up for the night. Soon, all this will be full of beds, uh, full of tables with all the seedlings on the side. I love it when it looks like that. There's so much growth in here, but for the moment, that's what I've got going on.